Off and good morning, Guam. I'm Janella Carrera with your morning news update. One of Guam's two newspapers has been sold. The Marianas Variety was bought by a company called Guam Times LLC, according to a press release. Guam Times purchased the Marianas Variety from Eunice Art Studio this past week. Guam Times is owned by businessman Ho S. Yoon who is also the founder and owner of Cortec International Corporation. According to the release, Amir Yunus will remain as publisher. Yunus is quoted in the release as saying, Guam has seen the growth of the variety over the past 10 years. We're excited. Guam Times wants to help the variety do what it takes to grow even more. Trial for one of two men accused of robbing the Days Inn in December, shooting at police officers and leading them on a wild chase has begun. Tommy Kichicho Fison was charged with attempted murder, robbery and illegal firearms possession, but his defense claims he was not part of the robbery and that he was just a homeless man seeking shelter at the home where he and Irvin White were allegedly found hiding. Several police officers testified that Afison was found hiding in the home where he and Irvin White were located. White also testified against Afison, saying Afison was the mastermind and he just went along for the ride. Trial continues today. Meanwhile, Irvin Munya White was also in court for another case. Judge James Canto has scheduled several hearings in the weeks ahead for all three defendants in the Jigo Bank of Guam robbery. White, along with his father, Jack Ree White, and Edward Baza are facing several armed robbery charges for one of the biggest bank heists in recent years. The Whites allegedly confessed to police about the robbery, but Baza denied any involvement. At their last hearing, all three defendants pleaded not guilty, but it appears Irvin White may change his mind. Irvin has a change of plea hearing coming up on February 12th. And that was your morning news update. I'm Janella Carrera. Have a great hump day Wednesday.